So we're here to solve the snake pit by Ashish Kumar called divisions with a division of six clues in the lower left and another two by three division in the upper right. And what's interesting about them are a few things. First, these large 16 clues, large numbers in general are challenging to fit into a snake pit puzzle, but even the, only some of these cells are circled. And actually the circled 16 looks the most interesting to me because this will be the end of a very long snake and a snake's got to have room to grow out. And so you can think to yourself, if this came down, we'd be able to take four cells or six cells, but we can't get out of this corner again if we come down and join here. So we've got to get these 16s out of from this corner, but not joining to the circle then. Like again, see that this is no good. Instead, the 16s have to come like this uh, for this to be valid. Got at least a two unit snake growing out there. Another thing when we've got these big digits in the grid is just get a sense of like, what are the counts of these clues? And um, we've got 64 cells in total in the grid. We've got two 16 snakes, like it looks like for sure. Uh, we can't get both of these ends with all these other digits being used. There's going to be another 16 snake end down here. Um, but if that's true, we've got 32 of the 64 cells used across those two 16s. We've got at least two eight snakes that have to be different because we can't come all the way through these with one snake. So that's eight plus eight more gets us to 48. Seven and two and two gets us to 59 with five left over. So what that says is this seven is part of the seven, these join. And so it's helpful to know these join. One thing that actually means is, is this 16 has to come out this way and the 16 has to come through this channel. You can't come through this way if those go out. So I think maybe this is a good time to look at the top of the puzzle and think about these 16s and threading. So this 16 will thread through this cell for sure. And then it can't come across this way because that strands the eight, it's gotta come down. And this 16 can take something like what might be possible for it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cells to here, but it also has to thread through for this to work out. So these 16s are coming through this channel. This eight is coming through this channel. In doing that, we'll see the 16s have to take these lone cells. And that actually completes this two group. And this comes down here. Um, so now key tension because we're starting to cut off the grid. We now know for sure this 16 is going to join to this 16 and it can do that in a few ways. But what it means is this eight clue, if it's coming over here, coming down here, coming this way, it's going to be cutting off that connection. So this eight is choked out of this lower right region. It's got to come over to the left instead. That means this 16 is coming to the left. It means this seven is officially moving to these cells to the left. It means we've got another hidden snake coming here. Um, this eight is going to take at least these three cells. We can ask like, what is its last cell to end? And you can always do a count based on a checkerboard pattern to see that we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an ending cell for the eight, this is an ending cell for the eight, this is an ending cell for the eight. But these two positions block off the 16. So I like this as the ending cell for the eight intuitively and logically now. Um, these four cells with these three cells have to take this corner to get the right grid look. The 16 has to take this corner to get the right grid look. The two is gonna finish here. 16 can't come straight to the right, so this has to finish here. So we've got four, eight, 12, 15 in the snake. So we've gotta get one more for this to make sense. Let's think about how this 16 connects to this cell. It's got this longer pattern, but at least behind a single cell, so that's no good. So it has to come straight and pack efficiently. This is four, eight, nine to the cell. So this is 10, 11. 12, potentially 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have to do this shape for this to work out. The 16 is gonna to have to take this corner cell to be efficient and we're left behind with a three. And where I said there are 59 cells with five left over, two and three are in the leftover. So the counts worked out perfectly in the end and we're a good understanding of knowing these sevens connected to get that threading. So a pretty good set of deductions, not too hard, but some interesting character and, and definitely some good teaching constraints about how to think of threading snakes around the grid and working alongside large clues, but clues that have to avoid each other, these 16s in particular here uh, and elsewhere in the grid that have to avoid each other. So thanks Ashish for the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully learned something from it and we'll see you again soon.